Welcome everybody to the 2017 fashion show. The show is going to start in 3, 2, 1. No, no, no. It's not about fashion show. It is about friction show. Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about friction. Friction is a force that resists motion when the surface of an object is in contact with the surface of another object. It plays an important role in our daily life. Try to imagine, if there is no friction in our life, what would happen? It's terrible, right? So, there are two factors that affect the friction. The first is the conditions of the surfaces in contact and the second is the weight of an object. The first activity is inseparable knowledge in which we will invite the public to join and explore the theory of frictional force together. The second activity is a mini game in which we will also invite the public to join our levitation caused by rice game to discover some amazing facts about fiction. The last activity is hover dish in which the group members will demonstrate how to create a frictionless device by using some household materials. Hi, I'm Professor Tan. Now, I'm going to do an experiment which is called as Inseparable Knowledge. This experiment is so simple, what we need is just two books. Now, let's get started. The first step is, place the two books on the plane surface. The next step is, completely overlap the pages of the book. Whew, finally, step 2 done. Now, I would like to invite a guest to complete the step 3. Now, let's welcome our guest. Uh, hi, I'm from from ICT1. Before we start the experiment, we will need a lab cord. Assistant, lab cord please. Now, please try to pull these two books apart. If you can pull them apart, I will give you a prize. Okay, it's easy. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, come back, come back. Hi. Never mind. Now we try together. One, two, three. <laughs> Why is hard to do so? In the first activity, which is the inseparable knowledge, the coefficient of the friction does not change. This is because the material of the surfaces remains the same. It turns out that when you try to pull the two books apart, the interleaved page in the middle will get squished together harder. This increases the normal force between them, thereby increasing overall friction. This means that the harder you pull, the harder the friction and the harder the pages are to pull apart. Hi, I'm Professor Tio. I'm Professor Ng. Now we are going to do the next experiment which is levitation caused by rice. For this experiment, we are just going to use a few simple materials. For example, we need some rice and an empty bottle and a chopstick. Do you believe that we can use a chopstick to lift an empty bottle? Now we would like to invite a special guest to join us to do this experiment. Welcome, Mr. Dan. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Dan, and let's start this experiment. Wait, before any experiment, you should wear a lab coat first. So before any experiment, we should always wear our lab coat, and also if for girls, we should always tie our hair. We have filled our bottles with the same amount of rice. As you can see, now we are going to use a chopstick to lift the bottle up. Let's our guest try first. Okay. You can use the chopstick. 
plastic only. You cannot touch your the bottle with your hands. You cannot touch with my hands. Yes, you cannot touch the bottle. Okay. I like a zoom. Uh, actually, you can insert the chopstick into the bottle. Yeah, just like this. Oh really? It doesn't work. It's okay. Now we are going to demonstrate how to use this chopstick and lift this bottle up. It is very simple. Firstly, you just need to take the bottle and then bang it on the surface of the table just like this. Now, you can insert the chopstick into the bottle again. Let's see what happens. Oh, on the count of three, let's lift it up together. One, two, three. So this is how it works. Interesting, oh. right? Mm, yes, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you. We hope that you enjoy it. Yes, I do enjoy it. In levitation caused by rice, when you insert a chopstick into a bottle of tech rice, it takes up additional space inside of the bottle. Because rice is not a fluid and it has great difficulty to move up the neck of the bottle to compensate for the spaces that the chopstick takes up, the back rice has very little room to move, so it tends to press against the side of the bottle. The chopstick gets wedged between the rice and the side of the bottle. Friction helps to hold the chopstick in the bottle as the bottle is lifted up into the air. I'm Professor Tan. I'm Professor Tan. Tell me, have you guys ever seen hovercraft? Let's see! After watching the hovercraft video, now we are going to make hover this using the friction theory. This is all the apparatus and material that we need. First, we need a yuhu glue. And second, we need a balloon. And third, we need a bottle cap with push and pull mechanism. And lastly, we need a disc that have a hole on the center. Any disc you don't want to use, you can use it for this experiment. These are all the simple apparatus and materials that you can get from anywhere. First, take out the balloon and the bottle cap. And then, you have to make sure that you have to close your bottle cap. After that, you need to cover the head of the bottle cap with the balloon. So the following step is you open the bottle cap and blow air into the balloon. After you have blown your air into the balloon, you need to close your bottle cap as fast as possible to prevent the air running out from the balloon. Then pull aside the balloon and apply the yuhu glue on the disc evenly. And then you take the balloon and put the mouth of the bottle cap on the CD and then you exert a little bit of pressure to make it make sure it stick on the CD. And then you apply more Yuhu glue on the side of the bottle cap to secure the adhesive of the bottle cap and the CD. Now we put the balloon aside for a few minutes to let the glue completely dry. Now the glue has completely dried. And it's time to check it out whether it can work or not. So from here you can see that when the disc is directly contact with the wood surface, the disc is very hard to move for a long distance due to the large frictional force between two surfaces. So what will happen if there's an air cushion between the disc and the wood surface? But now let's check it out. Now I will count the three, then we will release the bottle cap. Let's see how it works. One, two, three! Yeah. It's work! Yeah. It's work! Woo. Let's find out who's over this can fly for a longer time. No problem, I will win for sure. And we just start in three, two, one, go! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so smooth. Oh. 
you will lose. Okay, I'll lose. I'll lose. Okay, I win! That's all for our Harmony's experiment. experiment. It works! In the Harmony's activity, when the nozzle that connecting the cap and balloon is open, the air inside the balloon will escape from the cap and push downward to create an air cushion between the contacting surfaces. Thus, the friction between the two surfaces is reduced, so the disc can move smoothly. I was able to stop the car before I hit the person. But if we don't fix it, an innocent life may be gone. Now, I can walk and I can run. That is because of the friction between my feet and the ground. Although there are many advantages of friction, there are also some disadvantages. Uh, for example, friction opposes motion. Friction also produces unnecessary heat. Uh, for instance, an engine of a car will become heated because of the friction. Noise is also produced due to friction. Due to friction, more power has to be exerted to the machine. Besides, the efficiency of the machine is decreased because the energy is lost in the form of heat. Friction has its own pros and cons, but it also plays an important role in our daily life. Let's appreciate FRICTION! Thanks for watching! Bye-bye!